That's so much fun. National Park, check out the caldera right behind us. Demon, demon. Ready to have some fun? Yeah. All right. We drove up to Volcanoes National Park for the day from Kona. It had been a three hour twisting drive, so when we arrived, I was more than happy to exit the car and explore the visitor center, where I'd hoped to learn a little bit about the cultural significance of the area, as well as some of the volcano's endemic species. Volcanoes National Park is managed by the Department of Interior's National Park Service, and they do a great job of keeping an eye on volcanic activity to keep visitors safe. We'd only be in the park for about four hours, so I made a note of the must-see attractions with easy access. First up for the steam vents. Let's go check out some steam. Shh. Here, groundwater seeps deep underground onto rocks that have been heated by magma essentially vaporizing the water so that it returns to the surface as steam. Look at daddy's glasses. Whoa, it's all... It's warm to the touch, like a natural sauna. Ava especially loved this experience. That's so much fun. Next up on the list of things to see was the caldera of Kilauea itself, which was only a short walk from the steam vents. A caldera is a large, cauldron-like hollow that forms shortly after the emptying of magma chamber in a volcanic eruption. The ground surface collapses into the empty chamber, leaving a large depression at the surface, kind of like a sinkhole. When we visited, Kilauea was actually in the process of erupting. Thankfully, Kilauea and the other volcanoes of the Hawaiian Islands are known as oozers, not exploders so we were not in any real danger. At least I hope. After a visit to the caldera, we hopped into the car and drove a short distance to see the Thurston lava tube, but not before a short walk through lush tropical rainforest. Wow, this is so cool. It's deep. A lava tube is exactly what it sounds like, an ancient tube where a river of 2,000 degree Fahrenheit lava once flowed. Visitors are allowed to enter the lava tubes at their own risk, where a series of lights help guide the path through the tube and out the other side. Hawaii is full of so many microclimates, and it's just so fascinating to me that just outside of this area, it looks like Mars. <laughs> Completely dry habitat and like scrubby scrublands. And then you come through here and it's like a jungle. Yeah, yeah very lush, very green. So amazing. Nature's so incredible that way, you know? <laughs> Finally, we ended our visit to Volcanoes National Park with a walk on a 50-year-old lava field which look like a scene out of Star Wars. In my opinion, this is by far one of the coolest experiences. I could just imagine that this was once a glowing red lava field. Today it's covered in degrading basalt lava rock that is also incredibly sharp, so whatever you do, don't fall down. You better believe that we held onto Ava's hand the entire time. Also amazing to me were the species of native plants making a grab at life through the layers of black, sharp rock. This tree right here is called an ohia. This is the ohia tree and it is native to Hawaii. It is literally growing out of a lava field that is about 50 years old. Volcanoes are so incredible to me, the place where Earth is born. Here, life comes full circle. As easily as it can be destroyed, in the next moment, it begins again anew. What are you guys doing over here? This looks so, this looks so awesome. Oh, thank you. Say queso fresco. Yes. 